god! This is bad. Make the sacrifice? And we are back. The music rising. The wild area ahead of us. Welcome back, guys. It's part two of the Nuzlocke run. Last time, we made it to the wild area. It's nighttime. Hop is waiting for us. We got some fun stuff ahead. Would you just look at that? Just look at it. Just look at it. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. But what are you doing with your life? She's like, damn you kids. You're making, <laughs> making people question my own existence. <laughs> Ouch, professor. <laughs> Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? Girl. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. Well, I'm off to go stick me head in as many of those red glowing tents as I can find. <laughs> what cheek? <laughs> You're so cheeky, Hop. Okay, guys. This here, this is one of the greatest quality of life changes that this game ever put in. It allows you Pokemon access to the Pokemon storage system from pretty much anywhere, except like a handful of places. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely incredible that you can access it. The wild area waits. All right, guys. So as I said last time, I'm going to treat each zone in the wild area, uh, each section as a different zone. So for instance, in a Nuzlocke run, when you go to a different route, it'll say, okay, you are in this route. You have to go here. Um, when you get there, you can only catch one Pokemon. So... Two important stipulations. Uh, first and foremost is that if I run into a Pokemon that is too strong for me, I can't catch it and I can't beat it. I'm allowed to run from that. And that doesn't count as an, an, as an encounter. Because honestly, there are only so many areas here that would never happen in any other Pokemon game whatsoever. Because this game literally inhibits you from catching them. All right, so we're in the rolling fields. I found a jar of honey. All right, yeah, so let's, let me, let me show you the team here real quick. So we got Ziggy. Ziggy. We got Scurvy. And we got Chessie. So the way I'm going to treat this is I close my eyes. I'm going to run into the grass. And I'm hopefully going to encounter a Pokemon that I will catch. So, without any further ado, let's do it. Fortune be with me. Guys, I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. I haven't even hit any grass yet. Okay. Oh. You found a note. Did someone drop it here? All right, here we go. Ooh, a Wingle? Um, not great. Oh my god, this thing is level 10. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is this, this is going to be a little scary, you guys. All right, Ziggy. Let's hit him with a tackle. Oh! Oh my god! That did so much damage! Oh my god. That was so terrifying. <laughs> First encounter of the stream. Okay, Ziggy almost dies. <laughs> okay, probably hit him with two more pounds and then... Oh my god! Okay, that was the critical hit. I was gonna say... Chessy leveled up. All right, guys. What are we going to name this Wingle? I mean, the thing is, is that I'll be honest, we're probably not going to use it much because 
we already have a water Pokemon and we have a flying Pokemon. And currently, our chances against electric Pokemon are pretty bad. Name it Sh Shiro. Okay, we have Shiro and we have Pico. Pico is a nice homage to uh, the original game. I, the thing is, I would feel bad, Shiro, naming you this because I think that, <laughs> like I said, we're not going to use it. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go with Pico. Nice little homage. Pico has been added to your party. Okay. Oh, that's so sad I didn't get a Tyrogue. That would have been perfect, actually. We're all not looking healthy. Uh, so why don't we why don't we set a Pokemon camp? <laughs> so this is where we get to play with our Pokemon. Ziggy. Oh, I think we got his attention. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Chessie, thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> intercepted. Wow. Ziggy. Ziggy leveled up. All right. Ooh, Ziggy wants to learn Snarl. Absolutely. <laughs> it's so much sillier on like a pigeon like that. <laughs> Just giving you the eyes there. So this is, okay. So now we're in a new zone. So we're in West Lake Axwell. All right, so I'm in the new area. Uh, so this means that uh, this is a chance for me to get another Pokemon. Hopefully, I can get one that is not going to necessarily be already what I have for typing. I'm just going to run straight into the grass here. Oh, all right. God damn it. It's another water Pokemon. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that's where we're at. <laughs> we got to take what we get. Oh, he is water, but also ground, though. Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. Let, let me take a look at this. Let, let me do some research on, on your boy, Temple. Oh, yeah, Palpitoad. Ooh, actually, that's very good. Yeah, and then eventually a second, uh, second uh, evolution is Seismitoad. Actually, that's actually very good because uh, Water Ground is one of the best combos uh, that you can have for uh, especially just, like, overall Nuzlocke runs because uh, it, like it limits like what they're going to be able to do in terms of weakness. Whoa, what? Guys, don't be like my friend here who didn't do anything. Not doing anything is part of the problem. Uh, so a reminder on raid battles is that I cannot, uh, I can't, I'm not going to catch those Pokemon. It's a crab. Okay, so first let's, let's get to the, uh, let's get to the bridge. Oh. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that Gyarados is just tripping out. I don't think I'm in a new area, though, so I can't catch it yet. Or is this a new area? Oh, my God. I got to double check that. All right, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to catch this one, but if it is not in a... If we are not in a new area, then I'm, I can't use it. All right. So we're not going to name him yet because I don't want to get invested if this is something that we're not catching here. Hold on, let me just let me just check. No, this is not this is not a new area. So unfortunately, we can't use the magic card here. Okay. So, uh I am going to try and get something over here cuz that's a, if I can get an ice type, that's that's pretty decent. Um all right, so I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes and go into this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh god, it's level 13. I'm not catching this Pokemon. I refuse. <laughs> 
I don't. We don't need another flying one, and Pie Dove is one of the most useless that you can get in the game. I know that that goes against a lot of typical Nuzlocke behavior, but we're we're already unconventional here. All right, let me see if I can at least get something over here. I'm gonna try and go one more zone and see if I can get one from one of these principal zones here. South Lake Mylock. All right, guys. Uh, let me despawn this, and then we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to South Lake Mylock, and hopefully we can find ourselves a Pokemon. Here we go. I'm gonna stick to the wall here and run forward, because I don't want to run into that giant spider, because I will die from it. All right, who we got? Who we got? All right, cool. Snowbird. Snowbird's a great choice. Obama Snow is a wonderful Pokemon to evolve into. Ugh! It's level 14. Oh my god, they're so strong. Oh, he's grass type. I forgot he's grass type. And Scurvy is now frozen solid. This does not bode well for us, guys. I don't have an ice heal. <laughs> uh, okay. Pico is the, the choice here, I think. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna use... Uh, oh God, but I'm really worried if I leave Scurvy in. I gotta risk it, because it's the only way we're gonna be able to get this Pokemon at all. Okay. All right, we're good. This is bad. Make the sacrifice? I, I'm probably gonna sacrifice Pico. I hate to do this, but at the same time, we gotta do something here. So I can pull off a quick attack? All right, Pico. Oh my God, that did absolutely nothing. All right, what if I just throw a great ball? I, I don't think I could probably get away with Pico not dying. And I think this is the only way I could get away without this thing wiping my whole team. <laughs> Immediately burst from it. Oh my god. Alright, well I gotta just do as much damage to this thing as possible. Even though it's not a lot. Powder snow. Rest in peace, Pico. Here's the only way that this is going to work. Is if... Chessie can get off a pack. And it doesn't use an ice-type move. Alright, so we got to hope that Chessie can get a pack. My hubris for not catching that pie dove is coming back to bite me in the ass. All right, so hopefully this pack is gonna do damage to get it low enough to be able to get there. So we gotta hope and pray he doesn't use an ice move. If he does, Chessie is dead. Oh my God! We might just have to sacrifice the whole team to get this fucking Snowbird. Because we can't let Ziggy die. Because Ziggy is the chosen one. I'm gonna be really sad if we lose Chessie though. Okay, here's the thing. We have, we have a... 50-50 chance that the, he will use a move that can hurt us. And we have a 25% chance that he will use a move that will absolutely kill us. I don't know. His grass move won't kill us. Alright, so we have to go for it. This is the only way we can do this. Okay. And we got a critical hit. Come on, come on! Hang in there! Hang in there! Yes! Okay, okay. All right. I said I was going to save this for an important moment. The hat's turned around. Whoosh. Whoosh. Grabbing the Pokeball. Come on. Yes! Oh! Yes. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so scary. That was so scary. Yo, this Snover though. Oh, let's go. Okay. Yes, I want to give it a nickname. I I don't know, man. The thing is, is that this thing almost like almost destroyed me. It was a pain and it is grass and ice almost wiped my team. I feel like it was just like the the elements. I feel like I want to name it after like a mountain. It's either okay, either K2 or Everest or Kilimanjaro. What do you think? I'll leave that I'll leave that up to you. Everest? All right, cool. I like it. Everest has been added to the party. Oh my god. Okay, we need to run away from this from this grass. Huh! Okay, <laughs> the funny thing is, is I wonder if uh, Scurvy is going to be frozen in camp. Oh, he is. Oh, poor Scurvy. Oh, my God. All right, come gather around, children. Even though Magikarp, you don't exist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wabafoot class. All right. Wabafaba. Did that not heal his his frozenness? No, it didn't. All right. So without any further ado, let's 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 take let's do some box management here. Go a moment of silence. A moment of silence for Pico. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your sacrifice, Pico. Magikarp is going down here. He didn't technically actually get caught. <laughs> I'm going to go heal in the city here, and then I'm going to come back and train a little bit. <sighs> wow. I Already my heart was racing from that. But I'll tell you what. We just got to level everybody up. That's, that's, the, that's what we have to do here. That's the number one mistake of all Nuzlocke runs. Please. My starter Pokemon is frozen. Please let me heal him. Oh my god, it's her little Gampa. Oh yes, we get a league card. Oh, I don't want... I just immediately take his league card and just throw it in the trash. <laughs> you will be trash one day when I defeat you, Leon. Alright guys, team's healthy, looking good. I'm here for the gym challenge. Do I have to go with her right now? Let me go train! I think she's just showing me the way. All right, immediately back out. It's time to train. Yeah, okay, so right now we caught Pokemon. We caught a Pokemon uh, here. Or, well, we failed to catch one here. Uh. We got one here, and we got one here at South Lake Mylock. So the areas we have left to us are North Lake Mylock, Giant Seat, Rolling... Uh, nope, we got one there. Dappled Grove, and Watchtower Ruins. I don't think Stuffle is fighting right away. Okay, well, just in case. Oh, okay, it is normal fighting. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to swap it over to Chessy. Okay. I can probably get one more peck. Jesus! That did so much damage! Oh my god, get out of there, Chessie. Alright, we gotta we gotta not train where it's hailing. I think that that's our problem here. I don't think they have a fighting move at this point. Alright, Ziggy leveled up from that. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here.
We're going to go back to that first zone over there. Yeah, see, Shiro, these are the Pokemon I'm talking about that are too strong. They will usually be way, way, way stronger than I know what to deal with. Nice, Chessie leveled up. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Wait, Ziggy is actually good now? Yeah, well, the thing is, is like Ziggy gets uh, some really, really good, uh, really good moves in later on in its evolution. Oh, man. He comes in and makes it start to hail. What a power move. And guess what? We're going to cancel that. <laughs> it, that range is going to turn into hail. It will hail. Oh, get wrecked, Whooper. Fashions. That's what we need here. All right, that's a coffee shop. Where? Oh, here we go. Let's go. Tracky bottoms. Oh, I kind of like how that goes in with that. Oh, look at these. Look at these plaid trousers. <laughs> All right. It's, it's one good option here. We're not changing out our shirt. I kind of like this look. Oh, God, it's $7,800. Never mind. <laughs> we can't afford it. Help me, I'm poor. As I slink out of this place. <laughs> I'll come back when I have more money. It's a good first challenge. All right, first battle went pretty well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we're just going to keep it at Ziggy at the front so that he's leveling up with everything. This game makes it incredibly easy to, uh, to grind uh, because in previous games, it was a little bit more of a slog. Oh, I got a nugget? Hell yeah. Give me that good nug. What's up, Charizard? Oh. Oh, you have to lead in with that cape. Ooh! Yo, okay. Thank you, Leon. Boost the power of water type moves. Let's go. Dope. Okay, are you ready for the most haunting character in this entire game, Shiro? It is this man right here. Oh, damn it. I wanted to talk to the creepy dude. <laughs> they call me the ball guy. <laughs> He's so haunting. <laughs> oh, here we go. We get one. We get we get two rivals in this game. <laughs> Seriously, what a piece of work. For two. Ooh, uniform number. All right. Um. I don't know. What do you think, Shiro? I can only do three numbers. So we could just do 69. <laughs> 420? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number 420, is it? I just kind of look at him. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have to check in and then we get to do this part here. All right. I think we've got a fight in here, if I'm not mistaken. What's this? The hero who once saved the Galar region. Run through the legend right quick. People called it the darkest day. Bearing a sword and shield. It's like, again, lots of British vibes. Very Arthurian legend uh, for this. I really like it. Oh, man. Here we go. Yes. Team Yell. <laughs> You're in for a battle if you want to stop it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. It's basically they're the, they're the like, soccer hooligans. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and they've got Vuvuzelas. Did we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Alpen. Alpen one very special trainer. But I love it. It's like they're hooligans, but they're specifically hooligans 
for this one trader uh, who will meet Marnie. <laughs> the entire time throughout the game, they're just like, <laughs> uh oh, oh, I'm sorry, dude, but your my Ziggy is much stronger. Ziggy versus Ziggy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, your Ziggy has no power here. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Ziggy. <laughs> I went looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. You is. Oi, give me a break here. Abigail's calling me out for doing too, too many British accents. <laughs> I mean, the way that they talk, they say, because I got you covered, mate. Like, that's British. <laughs> All right, let's go. Quick attack. Wow. Nothing. Oh, my God. Ziggy, you're so strong. You're so strong. I just snarl at her to finish finish this off. Oh man, the swanky, sophisticated air in here had me all off my guide. <laughs> oh hell yeah, two on two battle, let's go. Ah, uh, we've already determined that your Ziggies are too weak. Kill the imposter. Their zigzagoon is sus. Nice. Thank you for, like, taking all the hits here, Wulu. Get wrecked. Oh. Yo, let's go, Ziggy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> what are you lot doing here? You gotta show a bit of restraint. I love it. She's like, she's got these fans. She's like, yo, you guys just need to chill just a little bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you. Good evening and welcome to the Bud You drop in. <laughs> I love that they even have a little Bud You on the counter there. Oh, young Master Henda. <laughs> I'm wishing up, I'm afraid I'm going to be the one to win. Oh, we'll see about that. You will try. Thank you for leading me a grand total of 30 feet. I really would have been lost. Oh, man. Here we go. Four twenty, bro. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you look sharp as a pin, and that four twenty there—that really is a number for you. <laughs> All right, so this is basically—it's just like it's my—it's my hype parade. This remix of the Pokemon theme song is excellent. I know everyone gathered here today, watching from home, waiting for this big moment. I mean, this, I, I do love this because this is like, it's basically saying like, instead of you just starting your journey going to a gym, it's just like, this is kind of like announcing the uh, kind of like roster for people to compete in the gym challenge for that year. Like the gym leaders to show themselves. And I get to kind of see who I'm going to be facing down the road. Grass type expert. All right. Water types. Nessa. Oh my God. Kabu. Yes. <laughs> Karate prodigy. Okay. So when I played shield, it was, it was, there were two other different gym leaders. So they swapped them out based on that. Fairy type user and the rock type user. You're going down, dude. I have a water type Pokemon and a grass type. You're done. So uh, in Pokemon Shield, two of the gym leaders are different. So they have, it's like two completely different gyms. Uh, instead of the rock and karate one, it is a ghost and ice one instead. Uh, there's also changes and differences in terms of like the legendary Pokemon, uh, different Pokemon you can catch and everything. There's definitely some differences for sure. I, I'll find out more because I played through Shield already. I just look at the chairman. I look at his strange facial hair. 
I look at Leon and his strange fashion choices, and I just scoff at both of them. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. They only track your movements and everything about you for uh, all eternity. So you are now a corporate slave. Thank you for competing in the gym challenge. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, so the first gym is uh, grass type, uh, which means that uh, uh, Chessie is going to be our kind of bread and butter for that. Uh, she is going to be the one who is really going to kind of get us through. Which, honestly, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, man, look at this. Yeah, so cool. Go, go, just keep going all the way. Yo, everyone's so hyped for me. I love it. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, tuning in for this episode. We've officially had our hype session. We expanded the team. And we are on our way. Uh, don't forget to uh, like this video, share it if you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe and the bell so you can see further updates. And you can also catch more of this on Twitch where I will be streaming this live. Uh, you can follow for updates. You can find out more in our Discord as well. So check out all that information below. And thank you so much. I will see you next time. And rest in peace, Pico. Thank you for your sacrifice.